Hello, welcome back to a brand new reading vlog here on Dead Good Book Reviews. It is reading vlog number 39 by my count. Very exciting. Uh, hello, welcome back. Uh, I'm Judith. If you've not been here before, welcome. I'm going to take you through everything I read this week. It's going to be a good time. I am bedecked in my Christmas shirt, though it does have uh, Josie Jeffrey pins on it to hide the fact that the collar is ridiculous uh, because it's Christmas fun day at work. So I'm coming to you just before lunch where I'm doing a Christmas quiz. So I'm a bit strapped for time today, so I'm not gonna ramble too much. Uh, I had a pretty good reading weekend. When I last left you, I was sewing and I did finish that project, which is why I was then able to do some reading. But I did finish Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. And this is a YA book from I think 2010. And there's a girl who is going through some quite intense grief and mental health problems massive content warning for that uh, and she ends up going to Paris to stay with her dad for a bit and she gets caught up in that uh, kind of story of the French Revolution at the same time. This was okay up until the last hundred pages where it does that thing where it's been perfectly normal of a book up until the point and then suddenly something supernatural happens and it wasn't done in such a way where you could it was a bit ambiguous as to whether the thing actually happened or not and you can process it in different ways like there, there was a thing that then happened that confirmed that the supernatural thing did happen uh, and why would you give me that in the last hundred pages it, it annoyed me more than more than I care to admit to be honest I'm just not such a huge fan of adding a tiny bit of fantasy into the real world I need it to be one thing or the other so that maybe is just me but up until that point I was enjoying the writing of this book although some of it is quite difficult in terms of the theme and the content and then I finished life as a unicorn uh, and this is a Biography slash memoir of Amru al Kadi, who is a non-binary drag performer in the UK. Uh, and I actually really enjoyed this. I thought it was a good memoir. It does some interesting stuff with picking apart their own privilege and also the privilege of the world they were in. Uh, so they spent two years at Eton, which I can imagine was deeply traumatizing. Uh, and it's a really beautiful story. I would really recommend reading it and then checking them out. Um, Obviously not what I normally read by any stretch of the imagination, but as a wild card book from the library, not the worst thing they could have chosen. Very interesting. Uh, I have five books I want to read this week, two rereads and three review copies. So my Kindle is charging at the moment, which is why it's not on the stack, but it was earlier. Uh, my rereads are Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, Nine-Tailed Fox kind of thing. Looking forward to re reading that. I think it's Urban Fantasy. Uh, Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. Gonna do some crying later, probably. Uh, my one arc is Sister Song by Lucy Holland. Retelling of one of the child ballads. Kinda keen. And then the way I picked which review copies I was gonna read from my NetGalley list is I just went with the two that had the closest pub dates because that's kinda how it has to work. Uh, so I am reading Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick and Fireheart Tiger by Elliot de Bedard. If I can get all of that done, go on the shelf. If I can get all of that done, it should be a pretty good reading week. I think if I read the rereads and Sister Song, I'll be happy uh, because I can take all of my NetGalley books up to my parents for Christmas and just kind of bash them out then. That's kind of how I've done it in previous years. It's been good. Weekend was good. Got some filming done. Got some nice videos coming for you. They will have already been out by the time you're watching this. Uh, and I have Thursday and Friday of this week off, so I've got big filming plans for a lot of my end of the year stuff then. So it's gonna be a busy week work-wise as well because I'm getting ready to do handover stuff. Uh, so I don't know how much reading I'm actually gonna get down and how much interesting vlog content there will be, but I will endeavor to come up with some if I can. So I shall see you next time I vlog. Enjoy the week. Hi, editing Judith here. Uh, I realized I never gave an explanation for the clip you're about to see. At any given time, I am probably at least 20% thinking about writing a Pied Piper of Hamelin musical. Uh, so what you're about to see is a song that I am working on for that, on a whim. It has gone through several iterations since I filmed this clip, and this clip is literally just me practicing. But hey, enjoy some creepy weird music, I guess. Come with me, do not stumble, I will show you. Where to go? Follow me, you'll be safe here, fresh and clean like new laid snow. I will give you safety, freedom, I won't leave you.
welcome back. Let's, where should you go? Is that a bit better? That's a bit better. Sorry, it's probably making you seasick. Uh, hi. Yes, excuse the UK recording. Uh, so I don't forget what I'm writing. Um, it is lunchtime on Wednesday. I know, controversial. I normally skip Wednesdays, but today, we've, this week, we've skipped a Tuesday. Um, I am just very tired and very overwhelmed at the moment, and there wasn't much to report. Uh, but now there is. There's a, a little bit to report. I finished closed in common orbit. Oh, I sent this picture to Justine because I was having too many emotions. Was it the right thing to read while very hormonal? Probably not. But it was okay. I had a really, well no, it was more than okay. It's a really, really good book. If you haven't read any of the Wayfarers, you should read them. But if you've only read the first one and you haven't read the second one yet, go read the second one. It's amazing. It's definitely my favourite. I thought Record of a Space Bomb View might squeeze in. But it's definitely closed in common orbit. Oh, it's wonderful. And then I am about 150, maybe just under, pages through Mask of Mirrors, which, oh, it's long. It's like 600 and something pages in paperback, which is, oh, it's a lot. Uh, it's certainly more of a slog than I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Uh, it's also my, my favourite thing of names, a lot of names to remember, and a lot of similar vaguely sounding names, which isn't my favourite, but the actual plot I'm really enjoying at the moment. So we have uh, a young girl impersonating a noble uh, and trying to weasel her way in. One thing I have noticed, which I really enjoyed, is she's uh, in disguise talking to this, uh, he's like a police officer kind of man, uh, and he's like, oh, a nice noble lady like yourself coming to town to find a husband or a wife. And I was like, or a wife? That's just an option? Fabulous. This is the kind of fantasy world building I want. Like, when I say in, in reviews like my Deadly Education review that that's that's what I'm actually meaning. I don't need mean I need like an entire lesbian love story played out on the page of a book. I just want to know that that's an option for people in the world. Yeah, so I don't know whether I'm going to just try and read a bit of Mask of Mirrors every day and see how I go until the weekend, because I feel like I could just read that the rest of the week. It could happen. Uh, but as I say, I do have tomorrow and Friday off, so maybe I'll be able to put some time into it. I don't know. If I decide I don't want to pick that up, I'm going to probably start Wicked Fox... Everything's fine. I'll probably start Wicked Fox because I fancy a reread again. Um, other than that, everything's going pretty normally. Work is a bit overwhelming, but that's what happens when you hit the end of the year, but everyone still wants to do things. Stop it, I'm meant to be on holiday soon. Cool, I shall speak to you tomorrow. Ahoy, hello, happy Thursday. I can remember what day of the week it is. Hello, I'm on holiday for today and tomorrow. I'm on annual leave, lovely. I wanted to get a bunch of filming done, and I have done some, but not as much as I would like to. So obviously that means the whole world is ending, and I'm terrible at everything. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I have got three videos filmed, I'm really pleased with them. Uh, I need to get down to, knuckle down to the editing. Uh, but uh, I think this afternoon I'm just going to take some time and do some reading and some chilling. Uh, and I can do some editing tomorrow and over the weekend, so that'll be fine. Uh, I haven't read any more of The Mask of Mirrors because I haven't got around to it because I was reading Wicked Fox, which I definitely enjoyed the second time around. It's still a pretty solid four star read for me. Uh, I actually liked the way the romance developed a lot more than I remembered enjoying. And yeah, it's kind of a nice little urban fantasy set in Seoul. I don't think I've read any other YA books set in Korea. Uh, I know that Phoenix Extravagant is set in a kind of uh, Korea-esque location. It's inspired by Korea. Um, this was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I'm going to hang on to it for now. I, I don't know if it'll make it through another brutal book purge, just because I don't know how keen I am to read it again. But maybe I need to scout out the sequel. I have a little bit of book mail which is a lovely gift from a friend, which is always nice. Uh, Justine sent me Susanna Clarke's Piranesi, which I'm so excited to read. Uh, I'm, I really wanted to read it. It was on my, my wish list. She's very nice to send it to me as a Christmas present. Yes, I opened it already. Don't, don't judge me. Uh, so this I will hopefully get to in January, if not before. Uh, it depends how long it takes me to get through Mask of Mirrors, to be honest. I also got approved for some stuff on NetGalley, which is very exciting. Uh, I know I got approved for Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, which is coming out in the UK from Rebellion, which is very exciting. Um, uh, I've wanted to read that since it was a Space Sirens book club pick, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to read that. And A Desolation Called Peace. Oh, very excited. Sequel to Memory Called Empire, one of my most anticipated reads for next year. Looking forward to it.
Mm. So yeah, uh, my neck alley is building up and I know it's fine because I can read them over the Christmas period. I know I don't have too many more books on my December TBR that I've set. I want to finish that before I start throwing in new neck galley reads, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just feeling the pressure slightly. I got a bit lackadaisical, a bit lax with my TBR reading, so I'm trying to power through. So I'm gonna go curl up in a lot of blankets because it's a little bit, it's a little bit chilly uh, and do some reading. Hello the vlog, happy Friday. It's Friday midday, evening. I don't really know what time it is. Uh, as you can tell, I've been filming. You don't need to look at that right now. Um, yeah, I've been off two days and I've been filming everything I had written. I had a lot of stuff that was pre-written uh, that I just hadn't got around to filming it. So I've just, I filmed like eight videos, something ludicrous like that. And now I am starting editing the ones that are a little bit more time sensitive than others. Uh, so I am, just about to make a nice big cup of tea and sort of sit down and do that. But as a result, haven't been doing much reading. I think I am now 50% of the way through The Mask of Mirrors and that is taking up the majority of my focus. And I'm kind of okay with it, like I'm fine with having a slower week and really enjoying the book because I am. And I know this is the kind of thing where if I rush it and I start to skim it, I'm not gonna know what's happening because there are too many names and that's just how I am as a person, so. I'm enjoying savouring that uh, and it is very good at the moment. I think it's probably a touch too long is where I'm at, but it's hard to make that judgment call on an ebook, I, I find. Um, and part of the reason I think it feels long is that they are long chapters that are then subdivided, but you don't really get that subdivision in an ebook. So it just feels like, oh my goodness, this chapter is immensely long. When's my next break? But the actual story is good. The plot's good. It's reminding me a lot of Lies of Lock Lamora in an interesting way. I think just that idea of a long con. It's not very, well, there are some similarities, I suppose, but that kind of thing, that's what it's reminding me of. Um, so if you've been looking for something else to read, having not wanting to read those anymore, this might be an option. I will let you know in another 300 and something pages. I've done so much filming. It's just not particularly interesting to vlog about. I did have a tea delivery. It's some Christmas themed tea. It's very nice. I enjoyed the popcorn flavored one. It was good. Uh, other than that, I have just been getting on with my day. So I'm gonna continue to do that and go back into my editing uh, kind of hagwitch vibes. Hi, happy Saturday. Oh, tolerable lighting. How unusual for a vlog. Uh, I'm just about to go for a run, hence the pink, uh, and I just thought I'd come on and finish off this vlog before I go. Um, I've just finished, literally three seconds ago, just finished The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick, and I really loved it. Did it take me all week, where it would normally take me like a day and a half to read a book? Yeah, kind of, but really, really good, really enjoyed it. Probably still think it is a scratch too long, uh, and I think that's because it could be two books. Uh, and I can even think where you would split it, but I can understand why they haven't, because there's quite a lot of important stuff to get in. But yeah, 600 plus pages. But anyway, yeah, very, very, very good. Uh, Intrigue got a lot more fantasy in the latter half, which is not unusual. Um, really good villain, really good plot twists and things that you might not be expecting. Uh, I don't want to go into in too much detail. I thought I'd guessed it. I thought I'd guessed the identity of a certain person. And I hadn't, which I actually very much enjoy not guessing a trope because normally I can guess them. Uh, and whether that means that it wasn't foreshadowed enough or I just was very biased because look, thinking about it in a bit more detail, I was quite biased in my, in my opinions. But yes, uh, I really think people are gonna enjoy this one. Uh, it's not quite as, if we're talking fantasy mystery, it's not quite as compelling as something like City of Lies. I think it's too complicated in comparison. City of Lies comes down to some very key facts. There are a lot more players involved in this. Uh, but if you like fantasy mystery stuff, then I think it would be well worth your time. And also kind of con men sort of stuff. Yes, very much enjoyable. Uh, and now I have to wait for the next one. Ugh. But what was fun to discover in the acknowledgements is that I think that this book came out of a tabletop adventure, probably D&D, &D, but who knows. Um, and I think that's really cool. I think it's, it's fun when you can tell that a book's been a collaborative, which this book is, uh, and also that it's come out of something uh, rich in its inspiration. The characters that are important are really well shaped and their backstories are well thought out. Yeah, it's just interesting. I like knowing where books come from. Um, 
So yeah, that's been the majority of my week. I'm probably going to have to title this something like uh, Mask of Mirrors Reading Vlog, because that's essentially what it's been. But I, I actually enjoyed focusing in on a book for a whole week. That was, that was good. So I still have to read Sister Song and I still have to read Fireheart Tiger. I'm probably going to start Fireheart Tiger because Sister Song's not out till April. Um, so that might be my read for the rest of the weekend. You'll have to find out in next week's vlog. Uh, I do have one other thing to show you. My new earrings arrived. They're from uh, an artist called... I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. Kintsu Gilt. Uh, and they do like ethical... What, how is it they describe their business? Hand Gilt Sustainable Oddities. There you go. Uh, and they are... <laughs> because I'm becoming my true nightmare self. Uh, they're crow mandible earrings. You're not going to be able to see them. Da -da -da -da. Um, not for everyone, but absolutely for me. Uh, but I don't think they would quite go with this running attire. So I chose not to put them on today. Um, but I do love them very greatly uh, and my adventures in shopping small the latter half of this year has been very good fun uh, Maybe I will do something about that in another vlog of just like all the little Indie stuff I've bought this year because some of it's been very good fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog I appreciate normally I talk about a lot more books in a week than just three but hopefully this has been an insight into how I cope with reading a longer book, maybe. I don't know. Comment below with what you've been up to this week, what you've been reading. Uh, have you got plans to read The Mask of Mirrors? Because I think you should. While you're done there commenting, you can follow me on all of my social media. That's linked below. You can subscribe because it makes me feel loved and appreciated and it motivates me to do things. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's got a piece of bloopers now. It is bleeding, bleeding wrong.